Hello everybody, Sean Adams here with Financial Freedom Funnel and today I want to talk to you about a very simple thing that can change the entire dynamic of your small business. Automate. Automate for success. If you can find aspects of your business that you can automate, and I'm going to give you a few today, you will find significant shifts in how well your business is doing. You're going to have more time freedom. You're going to have more money freedom. You're going to be able to focus in on the clients you want to, which are those high-end, high-value clients, if you automate the pieces you don't want to be doing. And automation is going to lead to greater success for you. So let's start there. There are three keys or three aspects you always have to keep in mind whenever you are talking about automation that is going to lead to the success that you want. The first key is knowing your offer. Number one is your offer. If you are not clear on what it is that you offer someone, what it is that your small business does, what it is that you deliver for people in because of what your small business does, you are not going to be successful. You have to be clear on what it is that you offer that makes you unique and that makes people want to work with you and your small business. If you're not doing that, you are not going to have success. Now, the next, number two, you could have, which is need or needs, depending on the situation. You could have the world's greatest product, but if it doesn't solve a need or needs for people, it's not going to be successful. You have to help people be able to identify the need they have, the problem they're having, the pain they're in, so that you can then explain why what you offer can help them. They're over here in Pain Island where they're suffering and sometimes they don't even know they're suffering and your responsibility, your role is to help spot, shine that spotlight on the pain that they're in. And then you can talk about the fact that they want to get over here. This is Happiness Island. This is where all is good in the world. But there's this void between the two islands. You're that boat that will carry them from the pain they're in to the pleasure they want. You are that boat. Your offer is that boat. So you have to help them know that they're in pain, identify that need, and know that your offer solves the problem they are having to get them over to here. That's number two. Now, number three, and this is going to sound obvious, you've got to deliver. If you say, we've got this great product that's going to solve this problem for you so that this is solved for you and you're feeling better, you've got to be able to deliver on it. I talk about automation a lot. If my automation does not save people time, in the long run, then I am not delivering. You have to know what it is you're offering and you have to be able to deliver on what it is that you're going to offer people. If you are unable to do that, you will run into problems and you will not have success. So let's talk about automation because this is what we're here about. There are three main areas that everyone can automate in their business to make life easier. Now the first one is you've got to be doing this and I'm not saying you give up this completely. I'm saying you do it efficiently through some automation. And that is social media. If you are not on Facebook, on Twitter, on LinkedIn, on Google+, doing Hangouts, doing YouTube videos, your business is going to suffer. We are a digital world and you have to be using social media, but not posting up there about your cat. You've got to be using it properly for the development and growth of your small business but there are ways to automate that distribution. Like you can type one post and send it to Facebook, Twitter, Google+, LinkedIn, all by hitting one button. That's automation. Instead of logging to four, into four sites and posting what you were gonna post, instead you log into one, write what you wanna write, share what you wanna share about your business, and then share it to all of the different media quickly. That's automation, that's what you need to be doing. Now here's my second the second one which is my absolute favorite which is surveys a lot of people do surveys to get a feel of what their customer wants what their customer is focused in on all of those things which is fine I'm not a fan I'm a fan of those they're fine they're okay they're going to work but they're not the survey I like to do I like to do what I call disqualification surveys that means People are filling out information 
And based on the information I'm getting from them, I already know if they are or are not a good possible client customer for me. That's disqualification. And you can automate that. So if somebody gives this answer, they're going to get communicated in this way. If they say, you know, I only have $500 for all of my marketing budget, like, what is the budget range for your marketing for your small business? Is it less than 500, 500 to 2,000, 2,000 to 5,000, 5,000 to 10,000, 10,000 to 25,000, or 25,000 to and above? I can tell based on how they answer that if they're an ideal client. My basic automation survey, like service is about $5,000. So if they don't have that price range to work on marketing and improving their business, they're not really an ideal customer for me. doesn't mean I dismiss them. It just means I communicate to them differently. I might give them a few other pieces of free information, some advice, maybe a free consultation on some things they could try implementing to get that number up, finding out why that number is so low, those kind of things. But I'm not going to sell them on my product, my, my package of automation and systemization, because they can't afford it. But if I have that person as 2,000 to 5,000, that's a possibility. If they're the five to 10, that's absolutely a great group. I'm only asking for about half of their money to be able to really get them functioning, running smooth and automated. Or I can go the 10,000, I can, I can sell them the big ticket item of we're gonna do everything for you where you just tell us, here's the message I want out in the world and then my social media people do their work. I do some automation, we do some of the other pieces. The surveys and asking the right questions and automating how you communicate based on the answers is very, very key to your success. That's a place to automate. A lot of people will do a survey, print out a giant list of all their answers, try to read through it, and still call every person to have a conversation. You've got to have things in that survey that are automatics. These are not people who I'm spending my time calling. If somebody has less than $500 to spend on marketing, I am not going to spend my time calling them. My time is better served calling that person with $10,000 uh, of marketing money. And that $500 person, I can give them a couple free eBooks, maybe offer them an inexpensive access to my membership site. So my lower products that don't involve me, my time, my energy. So you gotta have those questions that help you distinguish, is this person a client that is worth my time of getting on the phone? Or is this somebody that's worth my time nurturing, giving them a little bit of information until they get to this level where they're, they, they're qualified to get my time? And it doesn't mean that you are better than they are, but you should know what your value is. How much are you worth? What is your going rate? And if an hour, if it's going to take you 10 minutes to make a phone call and your hourly rate is, let's say, $600, that means... That phone call is a hundred dollars worth of value to you. If you are not gonna, if you know because of the pre-qualification survey, that person does not have a hundred dollars to give you, that value equation doesn't work for you. You've got to make sure that your surveys help disqualify so you only are spending your valuable time on the people who are who are at a value of how much that time is going to work be worth. Now, the third area you can automate is your autoresponders. And this is really where those folks that you've identified may not quite be ready for you. If they're ready, if they're $10,000 on budget, they're ready, they want to go, they've expressed high interest, they've expressed that they have an understanding of what I'm doing and they know that they need it, I'm on the phone with them. They don't need an email, they just need a phone call from me. I, uh, I set them up, I, get them, I, I tell them, you are my, I would love to work with you, have a free consultation or a complimentary consultation, and we schedule it, I get on the phone, we have a conversation, I book them, and then I sell them up into the, the high-end products that I offer, and we're good to go. Those folks who are not at that level yet, I can send them, hey, it seems like you're still getting your business off the ground, I think some of my services may be a little more than you can afford at this point, but I'd love to help you out of range that's available to you. I've got a, an ebook I can give you. I'm going to give you the first one free because it's going to be beneficial. Here's a list of 20 to choose from. Now, if you want another one, it's going to be another $5. If, and you know what? I've got an entire library. You can get access to all of them inside of my membership site, and that's only $49 a month. You've got $49. Come in, 
read all that you can on the material here. I've got tips on how to do social media more effectively. I've got trainings on coaching and how you can coach your, 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 your staff better. That's the kind of thing I can do through automation, through autoresponders, so that people, I'm slowly selling them up through my, my funnel, my process. And as they get to know me and like me and trust me more and see all the value they're getting and getting and getting and getting and getting, they eventually are going to get to that point where they're going to say, I absolutely want to have this person work with me because it's absolutely the kind of information I need. So these are the reasons why you want to automate. So let's just do a quick recap. You can you want to automate for success. There are three keys to success. Number one, knowing what your offer is. Number two, knowing the needs of the people you work with. And then number three, delivering your offer to solve those needs. And there are three very area, easy areas to automate. Number one, your social media. You don't want to get rid of it. You just want to do it in a way that's more time effective. Number two, surveys. Disqualification are the best. And then number three, autoresponders. That way you're staying in contact with folks as you're growing them into becoming a client or customer of yours. Cheers.